Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel and today I'm checking out the Nucleus pedal by Sun Audio. So I recently checked out a fantastic acoustic DI by Sun Audio. Everyone really loved the sound of that, including myself. And these are sponsored videos, but this is a fantastic company, a very small company based out of California. And these are handmade pedals. Today I'm focusing on electric guitar. This is a drive pedal, although you can actually use it for bass and acoustic as well. So for this video, I'm going to focus on three main areas. First of all, I'm going to take a very bright clean amp and try to make it into a three channel amp. This is something that's very hard to do with vintage style pickups that are dialed in really bright on a clean amp. Usually a drive pedal will sound bright and thin and shrill and not nice at all. But this pedal is different. We'll check that out in a second. The next thing I'll do is I'll show you the pedal into an already distorted amp so you can see what you could do with the two channel amp. And then finally, I'm gonna try the acoustic guitar through it because this does have a balanced output. So you can use this as an acoustic DI or a bass DI and then you've also got an adjustable input impedance as well, which is inside the pedal. So it's great for a passive pickup, again, like the K&K, &K, or an active pickup like the Bags Anthem. And it'd be fun to dial in just a little bit of gain, not for distortion purposes, although you could do that, but really just to see if I can sweeten the sound of the pickup. So they're the three main things I'm going to focus on. You already heard the pedal in the intro of the video. I'll cut to the chase. I really like it. It sounds great. Let me show you what this thing can do. If you take a look at the pedal, you've got your bypass button here. So that just basically turns it on or off. High or low gain, so you could have it in low gain mode, which is green, or high gain mode, which is red, of course, right? Now we have a tone control, which is great. Like I said, my clean is set very bright. So I want this to be dialed in to make it warmer. So I can do that by turning down the tone here. You also have a focus control, which is basically a tilt EQ. This is really, really powerful. This is fantastic. This will let me dial in the pickup even further on these gain tones. And then we have an independent volume for high and low gain and a big gain control. I love this. I kind of wish that there was a, a rubber top on here so I could turn it with my foot. Maybe I could get one of those in the future because it's really cool to be able to adjust it on the fly. This is a single pedal. Sun Audio do make a two channel version called the Rabbit Head and I'll have that in a future video. So please subscribe and ring the bell so you're notified of when I put that video out. So let's hear some sounds, that's why we're here, right? First of all, I shall bypass the pedal completely so it's off, and you're gonna hear my Synergy amp with a Friedman module on a very, very clean tone. Okay, so that's a very clean sound. It's pretty bright. And like I said, that can be a real problem for some drive pedals. Even with all the tone controls turned down on some drive pedals, they still sound terrible. This is the exception. Let's check it out. Let me bypass the sound. This is the low gain. And I'll start down here and bring the gain up so you can hear the kind of range that we have on the gain control. So as you can hear, there's quite a lot of gain there anyway. Please remember, this is a vintage style guitar. These pickups are not for metal. These are very low output and they don't often distort that well. I have to say they sound really good with this pedal though. So that's my kind of low gain sound. I'd probably dial that around here and then I'll show you the tone control. Very, very bright. That really helps with these pickups. Check out the focus control, I'll turn it on. And that's like a tilt control. Let me go right through the controls so you can hear it all. 
You can really hear how that's changing the EQ. It goes much warmer. So I'm pretty confident that you could dial in any pickup with this, with these two controls. They're extremely powerful and extremely musical. That's one thing I've noticed about these Sun Audio products. It's hard to get a bad sound and they're well thought out. They're obviously thought out and made by musicians. I can really tell that. Okay, and of course, guitarists. So I'm, I'm actually really happy with that sound. I could quite easily go from this to this. Honestly, that's exactly the sound that I want. I'm not kidding. That's pretty much what I, how, how I live all night. That amp is going into the Helix native plugin on the computer, which is simply loading a York Audio IR of a 212 cabinet because I can't mic up in the apartment very easily. But I think it sounds great having the real preamp and power amp section with the tubes of the Synergy amp behind me through the IR sounds really great. And it'll probably sound even better through the real cab, right? So let's check out the high gain sound because I do play some 80s style rock where I want that chuggy sound. Let's see if we can get it from the pedal. <laughs> Okay, so I would probably reach down with my foot if I had a really heavy song and put that all the way up to maximum. Let's check that out. I mean, it's not the heaviest sound because of the guitar, but it's pretty darn heavy considering the pickups. And there's not that much noise there really. Pretty, it's pretty reasonable considering the amount of gain it's adding. Just so you're aware of what's happening here, let me turn the pedal off. Check this out. So you can hear there's quite a difference there. It's a big difference. Now the focus makes a huge difference on this one. Let me turn the focus off on the high gain. Check this out. You hear how fizzy that sounds without the focus control? It's really, really great. Those two controls, the tone and the focus, really let you dial in your guitar. If you had humbuckers on your guitar, you might not need them so much. You might get a thick, rich sound anyway, but I've never had a drive pedal that allowed me to shape this guitar in this way. That's why I use it for the demo. I could use a touch more gain on the high gain maybe, but for what I do, it's heavy enough and I'm really impressed with the way it's helped me get those sounds from these, again, 69 vintage style pickups. They're super low output. The other way you could do this is of course to run two pedals. The rabbit head pedal will allow you to run both drives at once and that's why I'm keen to check that pedal out. That's even more versatile. But it is a two channel pedal rather than a one channel like this. As a one channel pedal, this is really, really, really versatile and really great. Okay, so that's just going into a clean amp. Now, what if you have a two channel amp or a three channel amp? Well, then you can add these two sounds to each of those channels. So a three channel amp could become a nine channel amp. All you would need is a drive channel on the amp where you can then use this as a booster, either by turning the gain to zero and the volume to maximum. I would do that probably on this uh, green channel. That's gonna push the amp harder like that. So there you go, that really pushed it really nicely, um, even more. So yeah, I think this thing is absolutely great because it allows me to turn a single channel clean amp into essentially a three channel amp. And it does it again in a very musical way. It's really, really impressive. All right, now there's even more features inside the pedal. If you open it up, 
There's a selectable impedance, which is great again for acoustic guitars or to change the sound. There's also a trim control for the two drives as well to further refine them and tweak them to work together. I really can't fault this pedal. It really is fantastic. I actually don't think I've tried a drive pedal in the past that worked as well as this for me. Now I'm not saying this is for everyone, although I suspect it will be for everyone. I haven't tried it with every guitar, of course, but it's so hard for me to find a drive pedal that works with this guitar and it just works really well and it's so versatile that's what's amazing this would be great on the board if you have a single channel lamp and you have this with a, a boost pedal and a reverb and a delay that's all you need for a gig honestly if you use a modeler or something like a helix or a kemper i can imagine using this to warm that up by going to this and then going into the modeler that's a great way to do things as well and if this is on your board like i said you can also use it for bass or acoustic so to finish up this video I want to play the acoustic guitar through this and see how it works as an acoustic guitar preamp. Let's check it out. Okay, so I randomly grabbed an acoustic guitar. This is the Maiton Nashville guitar with the AP5 Pro system. It's an underseller pickup with a microphone. But if you have this on the board, you can run a TRS to an XLR cable straight into the mixer. This can be your DI. You can use it for some tone shaping as well. Now, if you have a passive pickup, you could use this for a lot of tone shaping. You can use the impedance matcher in there. There's two impedances and you can use the tone. Again, it's not meant to replace the other DI pedals from Sun Audio, but it will work in certain situations. And let's see what it can do to the tone. I'm really interested to see what it can do. So this is bypassed. And this time I'm running straight into the interface. No effects, nothing. This is completely dry. So I'm not using a balance cable. I'm using an unbalanced cable. But again, you could use a TRS jack to an XLR that goes straight into the PA system. But that sounds great. It's quiet and it's clean. It's doing the job. Now, let's see what I can do with it. I want to try adding a touch of gain. I want to see what it does to the sound. Let's see on the, on the low setting here. That's interesting. It really adds quite a lot of power and punch to the sound. I do like it. I like it quite a lot. Now you could also use this to add gain to your acoustic as well. Of course you want to block the sound hole and be wary of feedback. But let's see how the drive sounds on the acoustic. I'm curious to see. really cool that really makes the guitar just sound a lot bigger it's really really cool i like what that does i would just leave that on all the time if i was playing a solo gig rather than have this sound i could have this sound it's just a much more powerful punch in the face and look it's not really adding any noise at all look it's amazing because there's overdrive on there distortion's on just a slight raise the noise floor. Nothing, nothing really to pick up on. That's awesome. And like I said, if later on the night you want to have some fun, there's no reason why you can't turn the volume down and crank that gain up and just have some fun at the end of the night. <laughs> Yeah. 
You know what that is? There's no speaker emulation, and sometimes that's why it doesn't sound quite as smooth. Remember, when I used the electric guitar, it was going through a speaker cabinet. So one thing that's good to have is an emulated speaker output for these pedals, because it helps with that distorted sound. I found that with the Acoustasonic guitar as well. Again, that's something that the Rabbit Head pedal has, the emulated output for the speaker, and that's a pedal I'll have on the show next. So do make sure you subscribe and watch out for that one. But I love this pedal, and I'm sure it'll work wonders with humbucker pickups as well. And the fact I can also use it as a DI for bass or acoustic makes it amazing value for money. I think this thing is great. There will be a link below to purchase the pedal. I'll put a link on Reverb and to the official Sun Audio site so you can check out more information and read the manual. There's so much you can do with this pedal and in such a small form factor. It's really, really cool. I love it. It's great. It gets my full approval. These are great products from a great company. Please check them out and support them. And please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch out for my next video. I'll see you then. Take care and be well. Bye-bye.